Hey, this is David Garrett here, and you're watching Planet Verge TV. Hey, I'm Nicole, and I'm here with David Garrett in Intermission, Dwellmont Theater of his Rock Symphonies tour. David, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I noticed you told a pretty funny story about wearing glasses as a child. Bet you didn't know a girl with glasses was going to be interviewing you. Um, well, let's put it that way. I think it's fashionable when you grow up uh -huh. because it's more of a, you know, intellectual thing. But trust me, kids can be uh, pretty cruel in elementary school. You look hot with the glasses. Well, thank you. Everyone take note. David Garrett said that. Anyway, so uh, you're on your Rock Symphonies tour now. I'm having a great time here in the U.S. I mean, it's, um, it's our third tour now. Okay. And um, it's been gradually uh, getting bigger and bigger halls and... You know, the response is always very positive and just enjoy performing. So um doesn't really, for me, it doesn't really matter if there are 20 people in the audience or 2,000. But, of course, it's nicer with 2,000. Uh, you end up with, a, with quite a few people at your shows, I've noticed. But um, So, were there any songs, I know you, of course, stuck with major rock anthems, like yeah. cultural icons as far as the rock world goes. Are there any songs that didn't make the cut that you plan on oh, maybe? Many, many, many. The thing is not probably because they didn't work just because um, I didn't find the right approach right um, certain pieces I just put more energy into because they were just the ones I really wanted to have on the record but um, I think if you put your mind to uh, to doing something right it, it actually happens which is how 13 versions of exactly November it, it, Rain it, need, it needed 13 I was the thing is you know either you do something properly or just don't do it at all. Well, the 13th version was fantastic. Thank you. So, um, are there any upcoming projects? Are you going to dive into oh, something God. new material soon? or How long is the show? Because <laughs> there are a couple of them. No, actually, um, next recording mm -hmm. uh, will be a core classical record. We're going to do the Beethoven Concerto, plus I'm going to rearrange some of the uh, beautiful Chris, uh, Fritz Kreisler. Nice. I don't know if you know about Fritz Kreisler, a wonderful violinist. Um, uh, 1920s, 1930s, wrote a lot of beautiful, like, fun pieces, and I'm rearranging them, and so um, should be like a more core classical project, but I'm very, very looking forward to that, awesome. because that's pretty much also my roots. Yeah, your fans are definitely looking forward. I noticed a lot of the questions we had on Facebook mm -hmm. were, when is he going to do a classical tour? Is he a classical album coming Next soon? One. So that Next is one. great. People are going to be glad to know that. Uh, and so we're going to wrap up with doing some fan questions, because right. everyone on Facebook wanted to know. Questions. Fan questions were, number one, what do you eat for breakfast? Nothing, because I normally wake up so late, I don't have breakfast. It's already lunchtime. Okay, number two would be, what do can you I be do? Can honest? You can completely be that honest. Well, at least today. It's at Planet today. Verge. If I, if I wake up in the morning, I, I do kind of prefer the cereal. You know, like, I don't know. Easy. I'm not going to name brands here, because... It, we're not plugging you know, anybody. <laughs> we're not plugging. <laughs> so, okay, the second question uh, that was top on the list is, what do you do when you're sad to cheer yourself up? I don't get sad. Why would you? Uh, the thing is, I, I've, I've been sad. I'm such a positive person. Even if I, if something bad happens, I, I have such a like dad mentality. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't really like, get upset. You let it roll off your shoulders. I don't get upset. That's great. That is great. Uh, and another question was, what what inspires you to write your original pieces? Like, do you have to be in a certain location, a certain place, uh, or is it just when the mood strikes? Yeah, it's it's very spontaneously. Like sometimes it just happens when I'm sitting in the car, uh, when I'm eating, when I'm like sleeping, I wake up and I'm like, huh, that was a nice composition I just had. Write it down. Fantastic. And the final question um, would be, are there any, is there any future plans for little Garrett's, little little baby prodigies running around? Uh, or? You see, I think it takes a lot of responsibility to have children. And that also means time. Yes. And uh, if you don't have time, I think, it's it's not the right uh, moment to have kids, so. and uh, so it would be irresponsible for me to put little Smart. baby Garrets into <laughs> little the baby world. Baby Garrets, although everyone would love them. Yeah, but you know the thing is, I, I think you, I I would also like uh, to to spend time with them, and it would kind of be also bad for me, or I would feel upset if I wouldn't see them. So that is no, no. Admirable. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Your thank you. show has been great so far. We're looking Second forward half. to the next half. Second half. And that's that. Thank you. David thank you. Garrett. Bye.